Son, how you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. The sheriff says cannibals lured their victim to a cabin in the Oklahoma woods, performed illegal castration. There's Dr. Allen, Dr. Bobby Lee Allen. Poto, Oklahoma, I guess. Two men were accused Wednesday in a criminal charge of performing an illegal gender reassignment surgery on a volunteer at their cabin in the woods and then keeping the body parts in a freezer, possibly to eat later. Uh, yeah, they served them up as hot dogs? or what? Well, If you were hungry before, you're not anymore. Bob Lee Allen, Dr. Bob Lee Allen, and Thomas Evan Gates, 42, were arrested after going to the hospital in McAllister to try to vi visit the victim, the sheriff said. I can't say it's cult activity, the sheriff said. It is something that we have never in my career run across in this part of the country. It is borderline some type of activity. Borderline some type of activity? You're cutting the guy's wang off. We know there's a lot of rumors out there, but at this time, there's no danger to the public. Unless you volunteer to head up to the old cabin. The 28-year-old victim had flown from Virginia to Dallas and then was driven to the cabin in southeast Oklahoma for the surgery. The victim had made contact with Allen through a website while searching online about castrations and related terms. The website requires registration to access, and a registration box is a welcome note from the eunuch maker and the eunuch maker crew. <laughs> the victim reported Alan claimed to have 15 years of experience and that he videos the procedures for personal use. The victim also reported that Alan told him that the surgery wouldn't cost him anything. Hey, you can't beat that deal. No wonder he came all the way from Virginia. The victim told investigators that Alan performed a removal. They're being so nice about that. They cut his thing off on a covered makeshift table at the residence, probably right in the kitchen. And the Gates helped him by handing over the surgical equipment. Well, when you're a specialist like that, you need an assistant. The victim said he was awake for the two-hour surgery. <laughs> okay, this is getting crazy. After being injected in the needed areas. Injected. The victim stated that after the surgery was over, that Alan said he was going to consume the parts and laughed and said that he was a cannibal. Ha, ha, ha. That's hilarious. The victim also said that Alan then talked about the time he worked on someone that he described to be crazy. He described them to be crazy? and that he left the mail opened up to die overnight. The victim, fur <laughs> isn't that murder? The victim further stated that Alan had six more clients on the way to have the same operation. Well, when you're doing it for free. And that Alan informed him that he had a freezer with body parts and showed him pictures on his phone. See, right here, look here. The victim said Alan took him to the hospital the next day because he had a lot of bleeding after first telling him no morgue, no ER. He said Alan told him that if he passed out or died, that he would dump him in the woods. <laughs> he said Alan instructed, Dr. Alan instructed him to say he'd done it to himself once they arrived at the hospital. I'd done it to myself. I came from Virginia all the way to Oklahoma and I'd done it to myself. He told medical personnel that the two tried to get him to participate in cannibalism. After they gave him a free surgery, you got to be part of the cannibal, I guess. In a search of the cabin, investigators found a plastic bag with what appeared to be testicles in a deep freeze in the bedroom. Everyone keeps their deep freeze with testicles in the bedroom. We all know that. Dr. Allen and Dr. Gates were charged in the Florida County District Court. In the castration, they faced felony counts of conspiracy to commit 
unlicensed surgery. Performing unlicensed surgery, maiming and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. I guess that would be a scalpel. They also face a misdemeanor count of failure to bury the removed parts. No, well, they're not going to bury them. They're going to eat them. They also face one felony and two misdemeanor drug-related counts based on the search of res residence. Bill for each said it almost 300000 their address in Oklahoma is listed as Worcester, but they also have an address in Texas. Yeah, you know, crossing state lines. He's, he's a doctor that can do it all. All right, guys. Well, there you go. If you want to get your, uh, your, your things cut off for free, there's a guy in Oklahoma who'll do it. Dr. Allen. All right. Let's move on to the next story, shall we? Racist jet blue passenger in a Burger King crown shouts all of you guys on this plane are N-words before being removed from the flight, departing Jamaica. A racist jet blue passenger wearing a Burger King crown was caught on camera repeatedly using the N-word and shouting all of you guys on this plane are N-words just minutes after boarding a flight from Jamaica to New York. The middle-aged white man who had his face mask slung under his chin before removing it altogether launched into the ty racist tirade as Flight 1760 sat on the runway. Shocking footage of the incident so shows the unidentified man aggressively screaming in the faces of flight attendants and shouting that, I'm part West African. I can say N-word anytime I want. He was later removed from the flight in handcuffs to the cheers of fellow passengers. There he is. There's the Burger King I can say the N-word whenever I want. Several smartphone videos captured the despicable behavior. In one video near the start, the man in the Burger King hat, he, you know, when you're wearing a Burger King hat, come on, you, you're pretty much exempt from anything. Sitting in an airplane seat screaming, take your sheesh and get the F out of my seat. Get that N-word, B-word off the plane before smirking. Well, he's got the Burger King hat on. It's okay. All right, well, this guy just went nuts. I don't know if you've seen this. I'm going to put the link in the description, and you can watch this video, which is quite astounding. He had guys jumping over sheets, seats wanting to kill him. And <laughs> there he is, the Burger King racist. All right, let's... Head to the next story, shall we? Police say a CPO holder, concealed pistol license, I think, holder, kills a man during a flight, a fight at Pontiac Liquor Store. Of course. Then he pays for the items. Pontiac, Michigan. A fight at a Pontiac Liquor Store late Thursday night ended with a man shooting another man to death and then paying for his items before leaving. Well, he's not a crook. The incident took place about 10.45 p.m. at the Huron Liquor Store in East Huron. Oakland County Sheriff's Office said deputies arrived after the shooting and found a 34-year-old man lying in an aisle. He had been shot twice, once in his chest and once in his pelvis area. Medics transported him to the McLaren, Oakland, but he died from his injuries. Police say surveillance footage shows the suspect a 26-year-old man, paying for his items when the victim came in and started punching him. The fight went off camera, and then other customers can be seen fleeing the store. The suspect paid for his items and left. Like I say, he's no thief. Police were still on the scene when the suspect's mother called from a home on the 100 block of Vernon, about a mile north and east of the store. She said her son was the one involved in the fight and that he shot the man who attacked him. Police arrived, recovered the gun, and arrested the suspect, who is a sealed CPO holder. Police will present the case to the prosecutor's office, which will make a decision on the charges. No video will be released to the public, according to the sheriff's office. Well, that is a polite gun shooter. And finally... This happened. This is not how you teach your kids to cross the road.
Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Here they come. Oh, my God. That's like a little girl. That was unbelievably close. What a dumbass. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Aimless News. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video far and wide. Because remember, the aimless news must be told. <laughs>